Hi, I'm Jesse McCready. I'm with Animodule. You can check us out at animodule.com. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to resample a drum loop through your modular synth. It's a pretty simple patch. I've got sub four out on the MPC to the line in on the train of module. I got the line out going to the triple XOR. Got the triple XOR analog out running to the in on the train of module mixer. The mix out on the train of module is running up to the left input on the MPC 1000. Okay, I'm going to try to move you up to the MPC 1000 so you can see what's going on here. See if we can do this without making you seasick. Can we get you in a little closer? Oh, let's not turn the volume. Okay, hopefully you can see that, and you still got your lunch in your belly. Okay, so what I have here, low drum loop, simple drum set. I showed you in the last video how to set your drums up on a sub four out. So we did that again. Here's the drums. Run through the modular. Now here's them being processed by the modular. It's just being exclusive ord with uh oh, with nothing right now. Adds a little dirt to it. I got a little uh little patch running here and we'll we'll record it the same way that we did with the last one so here you go here's clean I like this it just adds some dirt to it so nasty Okay, now check this out. Say you want to record it to an audio in. Where you go to record, you go and you turn your monitor off. And then we'll go back to main. I'll take it up here. Go to audio in. And there you go. You got the loop. We'll solo this. It will take. We'll play it clean. This is not playing through the modular anyway. Although you can take this, take the out, and turn it to sub out four and run it through again if you please. We don't need to do that though. Okay, back to the original drum loop. Here you go. Now another thing in the patch I have, I have noise patched into the other input of the triple XOR. So let's go ahead and introduce a little bit of that. I'll really dirty it up a little bit.
Okay. You get that. You 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 know how to add noise to your samples. You know how to dirty them up. Now here's something else. Okay. I took this program and I set this bass drum. First I took it, I put it in program mode and oh, I trimmed the end so that it acts like a trigger. You see you only have a little bit you have a wave and a half of this of this kick drum. Okay. Now I took this, I went to the out, and I put it to sub out two. Now I took sub out two and I ran that as the gate for an envelope. Now this envelope controls the CV on the VCA that I have the noise running in through. So I can play this noise here. So we can play this. And then that's cool. I mean, that is dirty. That is warm. You know, you don't know what's coming out of that. I mean, obviously, you're going to get some filtered noise. But the way it interacts with everything, it's not just like sample. Now, you can go ahead and record this. Now, I'm just recording the pulses. I'm not actually recording the noise. Because it's random. It's noise. You want it to come out different every time you play it. Here we go. Now forgive my song here. I just cobbled this together to uh, make an example for you. Obviously, obviously you're not writing a symphony here. Now check this out. I can go back to track one, the drum track. I can mute that if I want. Now you got the noise here. You got some cool stuff. I got this running through a filter too. I got to run through a high pass filter. Add a little LFO. I got sub out two. I got a molted, and I got it going to the Vactrol input on the SOB filter wave folder. So you're getting a modulation with every note of this noise, and you got the LFO going in here. All right, and let's add the drums again. That's fun. That's, I don't know, I think that's a lot neater than, uh, than that. So it ties all the sounds together. You hear that? Remember the sample we did on the last video? Now it's that same sample that got run through the wave folder. I tuned it down. I tuned it down 12. There it is tuned down 24 and run through the triple XOR. There you go.
<laughs> and now we're having fun. And this patch was simple. Probably took me 20 minutes to record these last two videos and patch everything up and get it all together. And now I got a neat little rhythm here. I go ahead and fiddle around with. And make a little song out of. And it's, it's not a sound you're going to come across samples. Well, unless, of course, you record it. And you, <laughs> then you got a sample of it. But... Here, let's see if I can get you down. Without the motion sickness. Bring it out a little bit. And I'll show you all these lights working together here. This is coming from the noise and the drums. This is the molt for the gate from the sub out to here's the sub out to controlling the vectoral input on the SOB filter wave folder and here's the sub out to controlling that envelope the envelope it goes over to the VCA goes into the filter it's all coming out one input on the training module going into the left input on the MPC 1000. So it's a simple patch, but it's not at all a simple sound. All right, I'm Jesse McCready I'm with Animodule. Check out my modules at animodule.com. Thanks.